Hey folks, welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, welcome, glad to have you. Those of you who are new here might not know my passion for Harley Davidson motorcycles and the culture, but I just love the bikes and, uh, and the culture as well. Grew up in the culture. Uh, nobody has a history and culture like Harley Davidson. Except maybe Jeep. But uh, today I'm going to bring some disturbing news. No one hates to do that more than me. Uh, there's a video out by Robbie Starbuck, which I'm going to give you a link. I'm not going to go through it, but you need to watch it. And it's all about uh, what's happening at Harley Davidson and uh, how darkness is just kind of taken over there. And uh, you really need to watch it, especially if you're going to buy a, or thinking about buying a brand new Harley Davidson. You need to watch this. So there's this journalist, his name is Robbie Starbuck, the link to this video will be below. Please watch it. Um, and I knew some of this stuff, but, uh, but not all of it. And it seems that uh, the more I try to figure out why, the more questions come up. Because the big question is why? Why is Harley doing the things that they're doing? Um, I don't think there's a clear answer to that. Hmm. Listen to those cicadas. But, uh, there's a couple of answers. Uh, their main shareholders are BlackRock and Vanguard, which they're at the forefront of, uh, most of the, uh, things happening in the world, uh, Kind of the invasion of uh, illegals, the uh, the culture, the wokeness. They're pretty much at the forefront of it. But they're the main shareholders uh, in Harley. But then I have to ask myself... Those cicadas just don't like me. I have to ask myself... What, it, what is Harley doing to uh, protect the future of their motorcycles. You know, we're aging out. Maybe not you, but I think a majority of Harley guys are, are getting up there. Um, I see it at Sturgis. I see it in uh, Daytona. And uh, are they trying to bring in a new culture? Is this... Uh, their way of getting rid of the old and pandering to the new? Is this the culture that they want? Do they want the woke culture? Or is it because their staff is just filled with woke culture people in high positions too? Not, not just workers. Now this hasn't like filtered down to the dealers yet, but it's going to. Uh, apparently, Harley-Davidson does not like whiteness. And they're going to be pressuring their dealers for some diversity hiring. Um, and I'm glad they have uh, robots at their factory, because I don't think there's such a thing as diversity robots. But what's happening, you need to know about. In order to make an informed decision on buying a new motorcycle, you really need to know what's going on and what you're funding. The, uh, what we're funding is just disturbing. And I'm not going to go into the details of it. You need to watch that video. But 
It is really disturbing to me because I'm such a Harley guy. Well, we got a truck kind of backing up here. Hold on a second. Wow, the perils of location shooting. Cicadas, trucks, leaf blowers. Oh, well. Anyway, I didn't think anyone else was going to bring you this video or give you a link to it. The, uh, the Harley guys... Uh, have the big video channels. Uh, they're not going to do this. They're getting free bikes and free parts from Harley. Uh, they're just not going to touch it. And uh, I'm not uh, endorsed by anyone. And after this video, Harley won't endorse me. I can I can guarantee that. But you need to know what's going on. Will I ever buy another new Harley? Probably not, unless this changes. You know, we have the opportunity to do to Harley what we've done to John Deere and Tractor Supply and uh, Bud Light. You know, Robbie Starbuck was the guy who did all that. And I'm sure it wasn't easy for him to do Harley. It's not easy for me to bring this to you. But you should know about it. Do we want to see the culture change? to something we don't even recognize? Do we want to support stuff that uh, probably you don't want to support? Or maybe we should just not give a crap. Just go buy that new motorcycle and just be blind to what's going on in the world. We could probably change this. Why don't you leave your thoughts below? Let me know what you think. Should we ignore it? Or should we try to change it? You know, it used to be that Harley just made motorcycles. They should probably just get back to it. <laughs>